Tag, you're it. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to A Neighborhood Tag. That's right. I know we have not been doing our Tag Tuesday, and we're not going to continue to do Tag Tuesdays, but my uploaded life did this tag, and we thought it was really cute, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it as well. Jonah and Toria did it. Yes, Toria, I do know who you are. Sorry I didn't include your name on the Christmas card, but you're going to have a special something coming in the mail just for you. So, here we go. It's got 15 questions. It's called the Merry Christmas YouTube Tag. So, let's get started. Okay. Okay. Question number one. I'm trying to keep the dogs <laughs> Use, use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Does that mean for this year? I would suppose. Okay. For this year. We don't know about next year, but... Yay. Or previous years. Yeah. Okay. This year? Yay. Okay. What is the best present you ever received? I would have to say, looking back into ancient history, probably I was Very ancient, most sorry. excited... When I got my first G.I. Joe, it was probably 1964 when they first came out. And, uh, yeah, that was the coolest thing, man. It's a doll for dudes. I have a couple, but I'm going to go with... Um, action, action figure. I forget, you can't say doll. Yes, for guys, they were action figures. Action figures. Um, I have a couple, but I'm going to go with the year my mother... The year Cabbage Patch Dolls came out, okay, <laughs> and people were fighting in stores to get Cabbage Patch Dolls, and my mother went to the store, and she was only able to get one, and there's three of us, there was three girls, and she was only able to get one, and being the baby of the family, I got it. <laughs> so that was my, my best Christmas gift ever. What is the worst present you ever received? Do you want me to answer this one for both of us? Yeah, go ahead. I would have to say there is no worse Christmas present. Any gift that you receive is special because it's the thought that counts and not the present itself. So there is no worst Christmas present ever. That's how I feel. And I think you would you feel the same? Yeah. I remember getting a pet rock once, and I thought that was the coolest thing. Hey, don't talk about pet a, rocks. We have Frida. Rock. We have Frida. It's a rock. A rock. Okay. If I still had that, it would probably be worth a lot of money. <laughs> As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? Always. Everything. I would have to say no, but I'm sure my sisters were a little upset that they didn't get a Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother, three years older than me, and he always got the more grown-up stuff, which makes sense. But, you know, as being a, a boy, I always wanted whatever he got. I never was like that. We all pretty much got the same stuff, because we were all three girls, and we are all two years apart. And so, Anyway, sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Probably the Nat King Cole version. Probably one of the best. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas that I'm going to have next year, I hope. Yeah. Rename a reindeer. Um, Weinstein. Aloysius. Aloysius, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Aloysius Weinstein. <laughs> the Jewish reindeer. There you go. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, I would say as a kid growing up and uh, working, it was usually time off from work or school. And that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Hanging out with friends and family. I would have to say that. And when I was younger, we used to always have white Christmases, and it used to always be cold, so we used to be able to go ice skating and sledding and snowball fights and all that kind of stuff. 
and nowadays you don't have the white Christmases and the cold Christmases like you used to, you can go to especially the beach here. living in California. But my favorite thing about Christmas now is getting to see Megan because she no longer lives at home, so and she's in college, so I don't get to see her very often. So getting to see Megan is my favorite thing about Christmas now. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? When I was a kid, it would have been Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving would have been when you start gearing up for Christmas. Nowadays, uh, the day after. <laughs> Um, that's when, today. when I was a kid, it was Thanksgiving because that's when we used to sit and write our letters to Santa Claus after we had Thanksgiving dinner. Um, we used to sit down and write our letters to Santa. But this year, I have no Christmas spirit at all. This year, it's been a very, very rough Christmas for me with losing my dad and everything. And not being home for Christmas, not that being here is any different, but just... It, it, it's it's not the same without having Megan around every day. And yeah, it was fun when Megan was a kid. Yeah, when Megan was younger, you know, we used to be able to go shopping and hide the gifts and then wrap them and put them under the tree. That was all and, fun. You know, surprising her and stuff like that. So, but we don't get to do that anymore. So, <laughs> it was just the kitty cats. Kitty cats. Okay. Um, when, oh, we did that. Uh, question number nine, do you use an advent calendar? Never even heard of them until I saw um, Bad Santa. I never, never used an advent calendar. I had no idea that was real good. You just shook the camera. <laughs> I had no idea what they were either. got to keep the animals happy. So... Um, Recite one line from your favorite Christmas movie, Christmas holiday movie. Uh, movie Scrooged. Um, lots of good lines in it, but probably my favorite was, I, I never liked a girl well enough to give her 12 sharp knives. <laughs> Mine is from the movie White Christmas, because that is my favorite, ultimate favorite Christmas movie. And it's, oh, Vermont should be beautiful this time of year with all that snow. 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 <laughs> yes, we watch too much TV. Okay. Um, question number 11. Share a funny Christmas memory. Uh, one of the things we used to do was uh, guess what was in the box. And so every year we would try to come up with... Uh, with ways to hide what it is. Little things in big boxes or bizarre shapes so that no one can recognize what it is. Or putting it into multiple boxes to make them open it and open it and open it. So. I still do that sometimes. Yeah. So. so that's the only thing I could say that was funny. Um, you didn't. My funny Christmas memory is we used to have these grates in our floor. Um, where you could look down into the basement and our Christmas tree was in the basement and I wanted a race car set so bad one year for Christmas and Christmas Eve my dad and my mom were downstairs and they set up my race car set and they were playing with my race car set and I was supposed to be upstairs sleeping well I was sitting by the grate and I was watching them play with my race car set and I asked them can I come down and play too? <laughs> so to me that was pretty funny so, talk us through your typical Christmas day. <laughs> we have nothing typical about us. We just fly by the seat of our pants. What happens, happens. And I, would, I would say that's a good description of yeah. everything we do. Yeah, we, we don't have any typical days in our lives. So, okay. Do you have any Christmas traditions? Not anymore. We don't have anything that's tradition. You two knock it off. Um, actually, we I still we still do have the one. Um, I am. I every year I have to watch White Christmas and Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, the the original with Natalie Wood. Those are my two favorite Christmas movies, and Megan and I 
used to sit every year and watch those two Christmas movies. And now that even though that she's no longer living at home, I still sit with Kevin and we watch those two movies regardless of how we feel, what we're doing. We always make time to, to get those two Christmas movies in. So. But then, of course, we have to watch uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, <laughs> and now we have Krampus has become our, our latest. All right. else do we... we watched Jack Frost this year. Yeah, yeah the, not the, the, the Black cute Christmas. One. Oh, yeah. Both all, the, all the horror Christmas movies as well. You know, we got to get those in, too. So, um, question number 14, real or fake Christmas tree? Depends on what part of our lives we were in. Yeah. Growing up, I always had a fake Christmas tree. When I left home, I always had a real Christmas tree with Megan. When Megan left home, now we're back to a fake Christmas tree. Yeah, they're, they're getting too expensive. We don't like the mess. The mess and killing a tree. And yeah, so. yeah. Love the smell of them. So. But what we do is we go to um, Home Depot and we get some scraps. Some trimmings, yeah. Yeah, and, so. and that brings the smell into the house. So. <coughs> and question number 15 pictures with Santa yay or nay uh, I've ha I have a picture of me with Santa um, I've shown it before I can put it up right now uh, when I was probably f four maybe it's been ancient history is that Zodi's I don't even know if anybody knows what a Zodis is anymore. But I remember doing it, and I, I would not make a kid do that. I yeah. mean, I understand why parents did that, because they wanted to hear what they, uh, their kid actually wanted, because they were going to ask Santa and maybe not say anything to you. But um, the whole Santa Claus is getting a little creepy, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, there's... Um, I remember... You watch any movie about Santa, and he's a happy, jolly guy. When you go in line and sit in this guy's lap, oh my God, he, he stinks. And Most of the kids are bleh. crying. Sometimes the kids pee on his lap. Yeah, and poor guy. Yeah. So, nah. so I wouldn't want to play Santa, that's for sure. I probably have some pictures of me sitting on Santa's lap. I know I have some of Megan sitting on Santa's lap. Where they're at at this point in time, I couldn't even tell you. So We'll look for them. See if I can find them. Well, this is going up. We won't have time to do that. Okay, never mind. So, <laughs> so that's the 15 questions. We're not going to tag anybody in particular, but if you are in the Christmas spirit and you feel like doing this Christmas tag, please feel free to do so. And if you do, leave your link down below of your video so that we can watch it and other people can see it as well. And we hope you all had a Merry Christmas and have fun doing the tag if you choose to do so. And we'll see you next time.